Hello, this is Kyra on Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have justice out here. Hmm. Let me get something with justice. We have judgment. Oh shit, spirit is not playing right now. Spirit is not playing right now. Let me get something with judgment. And we have the Ten of Swords. Look, these cards is not even playing right now. This is for real, for real. Justice is here. This is some, man, this is somebody's demon coming back to bite them in the ass. Somebody thought this day would never come. Something is about to end. Page of Wands energy here. There could be a child that's about to be freed. Or someone is about to go free. Someone is about to have a new life. Wow. This is so crazy, the way that this is depicted here. Let me get something here. Justice, Judgment, Ten of Sword. Six of Cups energy here. Oh my goodness, my heart. Um, It almost even feels like a child. Like something Ten of Swords with a child. I don't even want to talk about nothing like that, to be honest. We have the Six of Cups energy here. Something about innocence. Like this is some past life type shit going on here. Or a child is about to lose their parent or something like that. We have the Knight of Swords energy. Let me get something with this Knight of Swords here. This could be someone trying to say their last goodbyes or something like that. We have the King of Cups energy here. Yeah, this could be somebody that's trying to say their last goodbyes here. We have Lunar Eclipse. Emotional Cleanse here. Lunar Eclipse. When is the Lunar Eclipse? It's between April and May, if I'm not mistaken. April and May. Between April and May. Also got Solar Eclipse. But the Solar and Lunar Eclipses, they come uh, two weeks apart. Like, I mean, when the Lunar Eclipse is there, you know the Solar Eclipse is not far behind. Two weeks. Or vice versa. But this is lunar eclipse. It's not just any full moon. It's a lunar eclipse. That only happens twice out of the year. A lunar. Not just full. Lunar. It's mathematical. Because some people be saying, oh, it's a full moon. There's so many full moons this year. And it's like, no. Not the lunar e and solar eclipses. Those are not the same as every other full moon. There is some type of ending here. Something is coming to like a full moon. Something is coming to a full understanding of why this is happening to someone. We have the Seven of Pentacles here. Let me get something with this Seven of Pentacles. I'm seeing spots on somebody's skin. Let me get something with this Seven of Pentacles energy here. 
we have the high priestess energy is something here that is incomplete it's not finished yet let me get something with this high priestess energy and we have the five of pentacles here this is somebody that knows about a disease or they they might know about a disease secretly or somebody knows the truth about something somebody knows that some another person is sick or they know that they're depleting in some kind of way they're going down i'm trying to tell you it's coming out here i wouldn't even speak on it i wouldn't even i wouldn't even touch on it what is this here we have the seven of cups energy yep the high priestess pulled her motherfucking shit she pulled her divine and tools because look at this this is turkish coffee right here that's a form of divination in turkey you drink the coffee and the grinds is still at the bottom okay i ain't never tried it but people say it's really good but yeah it looked like the high priestess pulled their tools right up on out and they seen this they foresaw something let me get something here We have the seven of swords energy here. See, so I feel like somebody is trying to get away with something or they're trying to hide some type of information. They're trying to manipulate something to, to either get pity when they know what they've done, because this is a lunar eclipse. They know what they've done. They know why this is coming in. And it's so sad because, you know, everybody deals with death differently, but sometimes it's like necessary especially maybe somebody's not learning what they needed to learn or somebody's time is up or somebody just i don't know maybe somebody's holding another person hostage because i did say somebody is about to be freed it could be somebody younger here we have the ten of cups energy here let me get something with this ten of cups it's seven of sword and then the ten of cups And then the eight of pentacles here. Maybe some type of strategy that had to do with like family or people. Like this person's hiding it from family or work. Hmm. Let me get something. We have the Ace of Cups energy here. Something about like, okay, let me get something with this Ace of Cups. And we have the Magician here. Hmm. This is very interesting here. It feels like someone is trying to bypass something like they're trying to get away with this and look innocent get away with something and look like they're clearing something out and they didn't or they're doing something right and they didn't it's like they're lying about some type of connection or love or healing they're lying about it they're lying about it. They're trying to create some type of sense of emotion or pity or something here. But high priestess energy can see the truth. They can see what's really going on. We have the nine of pentacles energy here. All of these energies are good except for this seven of swords energy. Like what, what could somebody have done? Like, it feels like somebody did something against somebody that they loved and you got the high priestess here for the second time. Like they did something against another person that they loved or someone that's a part of your family or your soul family, or you're like somebody, it feels very deep for the first three cards to be justice, judgment, and the 10 of swords, whatever this betrayal, the seven of swords was. This must have been very deep because you got Ace of Cups. That's like a blessing from God. 
right underneath the seven of sword like how could you backstab i mean almost like you backstab god like it's like deep these cards coming out like that and somebody's trying to look innocent they're trying to look like they didn't do something but the high priestess knows the truth this person is trying to look innocent but it looks like, you know, something is going to come knocking one day. We have the strength card, Leo energy here. Let me get something with this strength card. And this is right on top of the seven of sword. Somebody trying to get away with the shit. What is this? We have the king of pentacles here. It could have had something to do with money. Could have something to do with a business, investments. Somebody tried to do something and they didn't get away with it. They did not get away with it. The high priestess knew or the high priestess saw it. We have the eight of pentacles here. Eight of pentacles out here twice. Let me get something with this eight of pentacles. This is right on top of the ten of cups. Okay, seven of sword. You see what I'm saying? Somebody did something illegal i'm i'm seeing that somebody did something illegal that they should not have done or this was illegal in spirit or illegal like towards people that you love or that love you it's something very just like backstabbing just terrible let me get something here with this eight of pentacles we have the star here. I feel like somebody made money possibly off of something terrible, something disgusting. I don't even, there are certain things that's coming to mind. I don't even really want to get into it. I don't even want to say it, but I've kind of already said these things before, like in the reading. And it's like, I just don't even want to say it. Like where I say it, something has to do with a child. I don't even want to, I don't, mm -mm. let me get something with the, the star here. This is terrible. This is somebody that's going to burn. We got the judgment here. This is somebody that's going to burn. I'm not even lying right now. The star and then the judgment here. They did something against the family or like a whole bunch of people. They betrayed a whole bunch of people. And judgment is being called. Judgment is out here twice. High priestess is out here twice. People know the truth or somebody knows the truth Two high priestess out here. Something was not completed, though. Somebody was investing their time. They did this a long time. They put a lot of energy into this. And now somebody's about to go down. And that's what this high priestess saw. That's what they saw. And somebody's about to be freed. And I feel like this is a child here. Like, they may have been using a child to make some type of money. Like, I'm about to throw up. Let me get something here with this Ace of Cups. We have the Lover's card here. Let me get something with this. We got Gemini Energy. Like, two people. And it's right below the Seven of Swords. It's something that they was hiding. I don't know what kind of relationship this is, for real. But somebody is about to burn. Justice, judgment, and ten of swords, somebody about to burn. You got the hangman energy here. Somebody seeing something from a different perspective, more clear. Somebody probably in disbelief in the position that they're put in. Or something like I can't even believe what they was doing with somebody else. I don't know. Could be two people involved in this. Pisces energy also, Gemini and Pisces energy. Somebody's like, oh my goodness, I'm finally seeing what was really going on. Perhaps between two people that was not supposed to be going on. And that's like, damn. <sighs> not your own child, man. I just, I'm, I need to get out this reading. We have the five of cups energy here with the magician. Let me get something with this five of cups. It's like I'm getting the energy. Somebody definitely brought this shit on themselves. But other people are going to suffer because that's what, that's what this person 
This person wants pity. I'm really getting that energy. They want pity for what they did. You have the four of wands energy here. Okay, you have the ten of wands energy right on top of the nine of pentacles here. It I almost feel like either somebody's going to jail or for real, somebody's about to pass away. Because they brought this shit upon themselves. It's something that they know is coming. They know that they manifested this. They know that this is going to come out or is going to be seen. Let me get something here with this, this Ten of Wands energy. This is too many. Let me get something with this Nine of Wands. I mean, this, yeah, Ten of Wands energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. And what is this? Yeah, it's clarifying the nine of pentacles. Somebody could have made a lot of money off of some terrible shit, some betrayal ass stuff where it was people that trusted this person. And now their demons, I'm telling you, their demons are back to bite them in the ass here. Like I'm even seeing someone speaking from the grave. Somebody is speaking from the grave. You got the king of sword right on top of the high priestess. High priestess was right the whole time. High Priestess knew what they saw. They knew what they felt. They knew what they saw. And this is somebody that trusted it. This could also be somebody that's an air sign or maybe a King of Swords spoke to a High Priestess and the High Priestess told them what was going on. This is somebody that they their shit has come back to bite them in the ass and it's not looking good. It's not looking good for that person, but somebody is being freed here. And this truth is coming out. Let me get something here. Something perhaps was going on at work or something was going on for many years. Somebody was making money in some type of way that has something to do with a younger character. A younger character doesn't have to be a child, but somebody that was younger. It says guide. I'm trying to tell you this was somebody that was over another person. What is this? Uh, it says represents the nature of the divine and life and in yourself. The shadow side says places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. This person got in this younger person's head or they've been doing this to younger people or they've been doing this over some type of years where they took somebody's innocence or something like that. It also has something to do with money where this person was using like, oh, my goodness, like literally, I don't know how to say like somebody could have could be the type of person where like they're meant to be like an actor. They're meant to be an artist. They're meant to be this. They're meant to be that. But it's like because this person did this in your youth or they ruined something or they did something here, it's like it could hurt you in the future. It's like this person tried to tarnish. But I don't think it's going to get you. I think this is something that's just going to just I hope so for somebody, you know, we won't pray on that, that that whatever that is that like fades away because they're being judged for what they did to you or the kind of situation that they put you in or the kind of. I don't know what this is, but it was not meant to be no Ten of Pentacles. This person was doing shit they weren't supposed to be doing. Okay. And there may be a high priestess that's revealing this, or they may have known something, or they may have stayed away from something. But it says places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. They got into somebody's head and they betrayed the family in some kind of way. Like they guided somebody the wrong way. They did something wrong here. It says teacher, guide and teacher, manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. They tried to ruin somebody's soul. They used a person. They used a person to, I don't know if they were making money or what the fuck they was doing, but they used another human being. It's like you have no regard for that human being's future. You have no regard for the fact that that human being doesn't know everything. They don't, they're here learning. And you know the system and you're literally leading somebody down the wrong path for your own gain. How dare you? Let me get something with this teacher. Don Juan, somebody seduced another person using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. It's all over the reading, y'all. It's all over the reading. This person was dealing with somebody younger and their shit has come back to bite them in the ass. And somebody knows here why this is happening to them. And they might be trying to make it seem like um, 
they're not in the wrong or they didn't do anything wrong. But the truth is the truth. And somebody's about to fade away because of that shit. What's this at the bottom? Storyteller. Mm hmm. What does it say? It says ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. <laughs> and at the bottom, let's say is the shadow. It says making up tales that harm others. I'm really getting that here. I just said this person did all of this and it's literally going to ru it could have or could ruin somebody's future of what they were doing or what they were supposed to do. This person is a fucking liar. This person just don't want to go down as a piece of shit. OK, let's just be honest about it. They don't want to go down like that. So they're going to make shit up. OK, like they ain't have nothing to do with nothing. Lunar eclipse is here, though. Opportunity and change. Let me get something with this. And it says angelic protection. Somebody's going to be all right. This is not your fault here. Whatever this is, it's not your fault. Because you didn't, I don't know who this is, but whoever the younger one is, they didn't know any better. They trusted this guy, this teacher, and they were seduced by this person. Only for this person to just make up shit and harm other people. Look, I am out of this reading. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.